Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the quarterfinals with Mansfield High School. <laughs> Taking on Andover High School. next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst to Eastern Bank and Subaru of New England. everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match, Buckingham, Brown, and Nichols defeated Shrewsbury to claim the final spot in the quarterfinals. Today, the quarterfinals begin, and we welcome back Andover High School. And Mansfield High School. On the Andover team, we have Luke, Mahathi, Liam, and Annika. With alternate Sam Path and coach Alan Hebino. <laughs> and competing for Mansfield, we have Dhruv, Vishal, Alex, and Rishi. With mascot Sting. <laughs> and alternate Yuv and Danielle and coach Ken Barrett. Okay, the competition has four rounds. Toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning. We start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. There are no point deductions for wrong answers, and players can confer. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and uh, let's go. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is located in what major American city? Yes, Liam. San Francisco. Yes. China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems are sequels to what 2013 romantic comedy novel by Kevin Kwan? Yes, Liam. Crazy Rich Asians. Yes. In 2022, who opened up the Academy Awards with a performance of Be Alive, her Oscar-nominated song from the film King Richard? Yes, Luke. Beyonce. Yes. Originally formulated by General Foods, what powdered fruit drink did not have strong sales until NASA used it for its space program? Yes, Luke. Kool-Aid. No, you want to try Mansfield? Tang was the answer. Take a look at your screens. In 2022, what woman seen here became the first black person and the first openly gay person to serve as White House press secretary? Yes, Alex. Jean-Pierre. Yes. What book by Shel Silverstein begins, there was once a tree and she loved a little boy. Yes, Liam. The giving tree. Yes. What metric prefix denotes one million? Yes, Liam. Mega. Yes. The Patriot Act gave authorities unprecedented ability to search, seize, detain, and eavesdrop to detect and prevent terrorism. It was signed in the wake of 9-11 under which U.S. president? Yes, Luke. Uh, Bush. Be more specific, Luke. Uh, George W. Bush. That is correct. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. This quote is from what Shakespeare play? Yes, Vishal. Julius Caesar. Yes, take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Michael R. Jackson. I'm a playwright, composer, and lyricist best known for the musical A Strange Loop. Here's my question. Like the main character of A Strange Loop, I once worked as an usher for what show that's the highest grossing Broadway musical of all time? Is it Phantom of the Opera, Hamilton, or The Lion King? Yes, Alex. The Lion King. The Lion King is correct. On the periodic table, chlorine and iodine are among the salt-forming elements in Group 17, also known as Group 7A. What name is given to this group? Yes, Liam. Halogens. Yes. William and Mary of Orange were the only joint sovereigns in British history. They were invited to come from what country to rescue England from the Catholic rule of James II? 
Yes, Annika. The Netherlands? Yes. Texas State University offers a new history class on the cult of celebrity. It focuses on what One Direction pop star known for hits like Watermelon Sugar and Adore You. Yes, Mahathi. Harry Styles? Yes. Who was the only Supreme Court justice to vote against the release of White House records connected to the January 6th insurrection? Yes, Luke. Roberts? No, you want to try Mansfield? Drew? Clarence Thomas? Clarence Thomas is correct. Produced by Norman Lear and set in a public housing project in Chicago. What 1970 series starring Jimmy Walker as the oldest son, JJ, was TV's first black two-parent family sitcom? Was it Good Times, The Jeffersons, or Family Matters? Yes, Alex. Family Matters? No, you want to try Andover? Yes, Liam. The Jeffersons? No, Good Times is the answer. At the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC, 300 Spartans valiantly fought to the death against a huge army led by what Persian king? Yes, Drew. Xerxes? Yes. The nation's largest retailer, what store cut prices in 2022 amid the highest inflation in four decades? Yes, Alex. Walmart? Walmart is correct. In 2022, what Massachusetts Senate president rejected an effort by legislative staff to unionize their workplace? Yes, Alex. Ed Markey? No, you want to try Andover? Yes, Liam. Elizabeth Warren? No, Karen Spilka is the answer. A diver who surfaces too quickly can suffer from decompression sickness, also known as the bends. It's caused by a rapid decrease in pressure forming bubbles of what gas in blood and tissues? Yes, Liam. Nitrogen? Yes. In 2022, the first skeleton of a Gorgosaurus sold at auction for 6.1 million. It roamed the Earth about 77 million years ago during what geologic time period when dinosaurs became extinct? Was it Cretaceous, Jurassic, or Cambrian? Yes, Liam. Cretaceous? Yes. With a median age of 24, the city of Provo has the youngest population in the nation. Provo is located in what U.S. state? Yes, Drew. Utah. Utah is correct. Burn, Boston, Burn is a book about the nation's largest arson case. In the 1980s, nine men, including three Boston police officers, set 264 fires after hundreds of police and firefighters were laid off due to what Massachusetts law limiting property taxes? Proposition two and a half. One of just two women to have an element named after her, what Austrian-born physicist worked with Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann on the discovery of uranium fission? Yes, Rishi. Marie Curie? No, you want to try it, Andover? Yes, Luke. Carrion? No, Lise Meitner is the answer. What Asian capital city was once known as Edo? Drew. Tokyo. Tokyo is correct. Immortalized in the children's book and film, what sled dog braved blizzard conditions in the great race of mercy to bring diphtheria medicine to icebound Nome, Alaska in 1925? Was it Buck, Balto, or Bernard? Yes, Drew. Buck? No, you want to try Andover. Yes, Liam. Balto? Yes. Uh, what historic river of Switzerland and France is the only major European river flowing directly to the Mediterranean Sea? Yes, Liam. The Seine? No. You want to try Mansfield? Yes, Drew. Rhone? The Rhone is correct. In 2022, Boston's Free Shakespeare on the Common presented what comedy about Benedict and Beatrice, verbal sparring partners who are tricked into confessing their love for each other? Yes, Rishi. Much Ado About Nothing. Yes, in 1948, Whitaker Chambers, a senior editor at Time magazine, accused what former State Department official of being part of a Soviet spy ring? Yes, Rishi. Uh, Alger Hiss? Yes, Alger Hiss. Virginia Dare, the first English child born in America, was born in 1587 on Roanoke Island in what present-day U.S. state? Yes, Alex. Virginia? No, you want to try Andover, Luke? North Carolina. North Carolina is right. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Tammany Hall was the powerful executive committee of the Democratic Party in what U.S. city? Yes, Luke. New York City. New York is correct. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score right now, Andover High School, 140 points. Mansfield High School, 110 points. This is a very close match. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs>
The head-to-head -head round is uh, next. First, we're going to take a few minutes to get to know the teams, uh, the players. I have a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We're going to start with Andover High School and you, Luke. And here you go. If your team ran a food truck, what would you sell? What jobs would each of you have and why? So we decided to sell tacos. And so our food truck will be called the Golden Warriors Food Truck. And so I would work in the kitchen because I think that's where I would be best. Okay. And I would be a cashier because I'm good at math. Good, right? Okay, Liam? I'm in the kitchen too. You're, uh, oh, you're in the kitchen with Luke. Okay, I'm starting to see this now. I'm visualizing it. Anna Kath? I can't cook and I don't have social skills, so I'll be the driver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now let's go to Mansfield High School. We'll start with you, Drew. How about it? So, Billy, our town is great, but we don't have any good burrito places. So we would start a burrito food truck. Okay. And I'd be like the accountant because I'm good at math. Okay, and Vishal, you'll be doing what exactly? Uh, I got my license recently, so I'll be the driver of the truck to show off that I can drive. <laughs> All right, you may need a truck license. I'm not sure about that, but Alex, how about you? So me being the only senior on the team, we kind of agreed that I'm allegedly the most mature, so I'd probably be the manager and make sure everything goes well. <laughs> Taking care of business. You're in charge, Alex. How about you, Rishi? I really like drawing, so I'll probably like design the logo and make the mascot. Good one. So that truck will be beautiful, right? Very colorful. All right, now it's time to go head to head, which means all of you come forward and we're going head to head. Let's do that right now. In this round, the correct answers add 10 points to the team total, and there is a 10 point deduction for incorrect answers. If a player does not answer, there is no impact on the score. So the clock is set at 90 seconds. You folks want to shake hands and get started? Go ahead. Okay. And uh, here we go. What constitutional amendment protects the freedom of the press? Yes. First. Yes. Name for the island of Capri. Caprese salad is made with tomatoes, mozzarella, and what herb? Yes. Basil. Basil is right. Name the only mammal that is capable of true flight. Bat. Who had a lifestyle blog called The Tig before she married into Britain's royal family? Yes. Meghan Markle? Yes. Haiku, a form of poetry that traditionally evokes a yes. Japan? Yes. Who came to power in 1939 following the Spanish Civil War and ruled as a dictator until his death in 1975? Francisco Franco. What Canadian city has an NHL team called the Canucks? Yes. Vancouver? Yes. What type of triangle has at least two equal sides and two equal, yes. Isosceles? Yes. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Wimbledon banned athletes, yes. No actual Belarus is the answer. What 1986 horror novel by Stephen King is about an evil clown, yes. Hit. Yes. What U.S. president survived an assassination attempt by John Hinckley? Teddy Roosevelt? No, Ronald Reagan. What American rapper sings Say So, one of the most popular songs on TikTok? Don't you cat. What is the title of Michelle Obama's best-selling 2018 memoir? Yes. The Coming. Yes. What is the, oh, and that is the end of the round. Checking the score. Andover High School has 160 points. Mansfield has 150 points. Whoa, do we have a close match here, folks. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Hansel culture, Raiders of the Lost Art, self-defense, digging up dirt, five feet high and rising, the corner office. Now, all categories have five questions with increasing point value. Our teams will each choose two categories and will have the option to toss one question per category to the other team and players are able to confer. So Andover High, who's the spokesperson gonna be? Uh, Liam and Mansfield, how about you? It will be Alex. Okay, so now Mansfield, you have the tiniest space to make up, okay? This is a very close round. You get to choose the first category. What's it gonna be? We're gonna do five feet high and rising. Five feet high and rising, questions about rivers for 10 points. Mesopotamia formed a significant part of the Fertile Crescent, an area named for its rich soils. Mesopotamia was located between the Euphrates River and what other river? Our answer is the Tigris. Tigris is right. Now for 15 points. 
The Three Gorges Dam is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world. It spans what Chinese river? Yangtze. Yeah. Yeah. Yangtze. 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 Our answer is Yangtze? Yangtze is correct. Now for 20 points, the city of Montreal is located on an island at the confluence of the Ottawa River and what other river? St. Lawrence. All right. Our answer is the St. Lawrence River. St. Lawrence River is correct. Now for 25 points, the longest river in central Italy. What river that flows through Rome was essential for trade and commerce and the expansion of the Roman Empire? Tiber. Yeah. Our answer is the Tiber River. Tiber River is right now for 30 points. Victoria Falls is one of the most spectacular waterfalls in the world. It's located on what river that forms the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia? Our answer is the Zambezi. Zambezi is correct. Now we go to Andover High School. You'll need to choose a category. What's it going to be, Andover? Digging up dirt. All right. We choose uh, digging up dirt. Digging up dirt. Questions about archaeology and uh, for 10 points. In the 1620s, the Duke of Buckingham undertook the first known excavation of what Neolithic stone circle in Wilshire, England? Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Yes. For 15 points in 1911, American explorer Hiram Bingham initiated the scientific discovery of what 15th century Inca site in a remote part of the Peruvian Andes? Machu Picchu. Correct. Now for 20 points in 1900, British archaeologist Sir Arthur Evans excavated what palace in Crete that was the center of Minoan civilization? Pass. Knossos is the answer there. Now for 25 points. In 2021, archaeologists at a site near Rome discovered the fossilized remains of nine archaic humans. They belonged to what species that coexisted with Homo sapiens until about 35,000 years ago? Neanderthals. Neanderthals. And that is correct. Now, for 30 points in 1922, what British archaeologists made one of the richest and most celebrated contributions to the study of ancient Egypt, the discovery of the largely intact tomb of King Tutankhamun? Carter. Yes, Howard Carter is correct. And now we go back to Mansfield High School. You'll need a category. Okay, sure. We're going to go with the corner office. The corner office. Questions about U.S. governors. And for 10 points, in November 2022, who became the first woman to be elected governor of Massachusetts? Maura Healy. Our answer is Maura Healy. Correct. For 15 points in 2021, what California governor successfully defeated a recall effort estimated to have cost the state nearly $300 million? Our answer is Gavin Newsom. And that is correct. Now for 20 points in 2022, what Florida governor signed a controversial law limiting classroom discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity, a law that opponents dubbed Don't Say Gay? Our answer is Ron DeSantis. And that is correct. For 25 points in November 2022, Stacey Abrams lost her bid to become the nation's first black female governor. She was defeated by what Republican incumbent governor of Georgia? Kemp. Our answer is Kemp. Brian Kemp. Now for 30 points. In 2022, what governor of Maine unveiled a $50 million campaign to make improvements to Maine state parks, which saw a record number of visitors during the pandemic? If you don't know, it just passed. You want to pass? We're going to pass this one? The answer is Janet Mills. And now we go to Andover High School. You'll need a category, Andover. What's it going to be? Defense, because this is definitely art. And this is, I don't know what that is. So. Uh, we'll do self-defense. Self-defense questions about the immune system and for 10 points. The primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph, a fluid containing what type of blood cells that fight infection? White, white. White blood cells. Correct. For 15 points, located under the ribs and opposite the liver, what organ that filters blood and helps fight infection is the largest lymphatic organ in the human body? Spleen. Correct. Now for 20 points, an important part of the immune system what pair of small, almond-shaped clusters of lymphatic tissues are located at the back of the throat? Lymph nodes. Hmm? Lymph, nodes. lymph nodes? No. Tonsils is the answer. And now for 25 points. Located high up in the throat, above the tonsils, what glands that trap viruses and bacteria sometimes become enlarged and have to be removed? Thyroid. Pass. Adenoids is the answer there. Now for 30 points. Before birth and throughout childhood, what gland located behind the sternum is instrumental in the production and maturation of infection-fighting T cells? Wow. 
pass. The thymus is the answer there. Oh, and uh, that's the end of the category round of the score right now. Andover High School, 245 points. Mansfield High School, 320 points. How about it, everybody? Let's hear it. Okay, we are heading into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. Correct answers add 20 points to the team total, and there is a 20-point deduction for incorrect answers. And remember, there is no conferring in this round. So the clock is set in teams. Good luck. Here we go. Who worked on the whaling ship The Accushionate before writing his novel Moby Dick? Yes, Luke. Herman Melville. Yes. What actor best known for playing Sonny Corleone in the film The Godfather passed away in 2022 at the age of 82? James Caan. Atomic number 86 refers to what naturally occurring element that is the heaviest noble gas? Yes, Liam. Xenon? No, Radon. Which character is the half-blood prince in the Harry Potter novels? Yes, Mahathi. Severus Snape. Snape is correct. Boston's Emerald Necklace, a chain of parks linked by parkways and waterways, was designed by what noted landscape architect? Frederick Law Olmsted. For the five Great Lakes of North America, which is the only one that lies entirely within the boundaries? Yes, Groove. Lake Michigan? Yes. What coming-of-age drama written and directed by Kenneth Branagh won an Oscar? Yes, big child. Belfast? Yes. Meaning naked seed, what type of plants produce cones instead of flowers? Yes, Mahathi. Gymnosperm? Correct. The Book of Wisdom is commonly associated with what ancient king of Israel? Yes, Luke. David? No, King Solomon. Meaning fit or proper, what Hebrew word describes foods that are in keeping with Jewish law? Yes, Liam. Kosher. Yes. Bengal is a region located in Bangladesh. And what other country? Yes, Vishal. India. Yes. Who played for UNS? Oh, that's the end. The winning team this week, Mansfield High School, with a score of 380 points. Andover High School finishes with 200 85 points. Yes, more noise for both teams, everybody. What a great game. So now Mansfield will move on to the semifinals. So join us next week for our second quarterfinal match between Brookline and North Quincy. Until then, don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll see everybody next week on High School Quiz Show. Thank you.